Yo guys, what is going on? NR Tech is here, and today we're on Advanced Warfare with AK 47R and Ease Quick Scope with some bots like a noob. At least we're admitting it's against bots. And today we're going to be talking Black Ops 3 because oh my god, the trailer's out tomorrow or tonight, I think. Yeah, it's probably out tonight at like 12. I'm not sure, but I know it's definitely out tomorrow, so I can't wait for that. But today we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 and what I should think, what I think should be included in Black Ops 3. And the first thing, like, I I really want this game to be a personal game because like a personal game keeps you on the game longer. You just you just want it to become your game. Like just personal games are so much better. What I mean by the personal games is like games where you can basically just there's so many ways you can make the game to your to your liking so like camo creator this is the first idea camo creator i think there should be like a feature where you make your own camos so because i'd be so awesome like some of the camos in the previous cards have been so bad like boring and you have to buy the good camos so a camo creator feature would just be absolutely amazing I just I know I'd spend hours on that making great designs, showing off your designs, sharing your designs. So well, that's the first idea. And the second, this is very personal again, is like skill points trees. With like points you earn in game with challenges or just leveling up and you can spend those on skill points for like maybe different different classes, like in Modern Warfare 3 you get specialist, you get uh, what are the other ones? Specialist, support, and assault. I think it was. And maybe you could just go down different skill trees if you choose one of those three. Like I don't know, assault could be extra damage on your class, and then like uh, support would be maybe more health or I don't know. And then you can just evolve your class so much and make it your own class and not just similar to everyone else's class it'd just be so unique your own class would be so unique and then like I don't know maybe you can increase your stats increase certain stats on uh, on different different parts of your body armor like your legs you can increase your speed and you can increase your like helmet your protection or your body like how high you jump and stuff that'd just be amazing um, I'm gonna have to leave the party because loads of people have started talking. So yeah, there we go. Where was I? Yeah. So that's the second idea with the uh, the skill trees. Let me know what you guys think. I reckon that'd be an awesome idea. You just spend hours personalizing your class, going down specific skill routes for certain attributes, and really specializing your class. Like you could just be a speed guy. You could be like a super health guy. I know it'd affect the balance a lot, but <laughs> that'd just be awesome. I just spend like hours on end making a beast class. Just so unique. Just evolve your class. Go down perfect specific routes. Damn what a quick scope that was from Aaron. Now the next idea oop the camera's on the side. I might be skipping bits if I if I like if I blank if I can't rem if I can't think of any ideas. <laughs> Alright actually I'm gonna do what I don't want to see in, in the next card. Like this is the most talked about thing at the moment, which is exosuits. I don't want to see exosuits because like people can be one bullet away from dying and they'll just boost away, boost around the corner. Like they're one shot away from dying, somehow they don't die. Then they just put two bullets in you and kill you. I don't want to see exosuits. You know, Advanced Warfare is a brilliant game, but it just doesn't feel like Call of Duty to me. So I don't want to see exosuits. Another thing I don't want to see because I know it's Treyarch is the Black Ops 2 wall glitch where basically on your screen you're behind the wall you're clearly behind like a six foot wall six foot metal wall or whatever and then on your screen you're on their screen you're not behind the wall and they just kill you when you were clearly behind the wall on your screen I don't want to see any of that so I might be doing more videos like this of what I think should be in Black Ops 2 what I don't think should be in Black Ops 2 I'll be definitely putting the trailer up on my channel tomorrow 
and I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Let me know about some of your ideas. Let me know what you want to see and what you don't want to see in Black Ops 3. And I shall see you guys in another video. Peace.